Tomato, Bagel, orange, 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 we turn it around, we have the contents. We slide this sucker off, and Charizard rears his ugly head yet again. And of course, you can take apart the skin of an elite trainer box, and uh, you have this thing, which some people hang up as a poster. But I think it's time to pop the top, remove the cardboard that makes it look bigger than it really is, and finally dive into some Champion's Path booster packs. The reason um, I haven't already done a video is because all my orders got stuck in the mail. All right, okay, so for this, these ones, you flip them around, there's a code. And they took a, a, an extremely long time to get here. A criminally long time. Uh, but we're going to take a look at some new artwork. Most of which we've probably seen somewhere in the a Japanese set. Um, but I can't, oh, I can identify that one. And we've got a Volpix in the woods. We have uh, a potion. Reverting back to some old school looking potions here. Uh, ah, there we go. The menacing Machoke. Reverse. And our first rare card is an Alteria. Holographic. That's uh, looking pretty clean. I like that. That's a, that's a nice looking card. We also get the Champion's Path Player's Guide. Where you can learn to play the game and maybe it catalogs various new cards. Oh, watch Pokemon TV on the go, guys! Shut up! Another pack of Champion's Path. So, now we have uh, new extremely expensive Charizards to look for. <sighs> My day just keeps getting worse. Here's a code card. Now, I'm sure we'll pull one of them today, guys, surely. It hasn't taken me six years to pull the other Rainbow Charizard, which I still haven't done. Sonya, uh, Victini, Kakuna, Matata. We've got an Inke in the woods. Don't know what he's doing in the woods. Swablu. We've got an Ekans. That one um, kind of elicits some sort of disgust in me. Something about the snake drooping over the tree branch. Uh, hop, Reverse. I don't know uh, the values of uh, most of these general cards, but that could be something. And then our next one, another holographic, Galarian Obstagoon. Now, are all the rare slots in this set holographic? That could be a design choice, I don't know yet. But now let's take a look at something else in here. Oh, dice, black and red ones, very cool. Now, moving on to another pack. How many packs do we have in here? Maybe like seven or so? These packs are, are pretty easy to open. Usually they only get that easy to open as uh, they age, but these ones are, are fresh and the newest set. They may have just uh, may have just made them easier to open in general. Turfield Stadium. We've got a Pokeball opening up. We've got two Scraggies walking down the street. There are three Scraggies, a Purloin, and a Rolly Collie as our reverse. And the very end, we have a Lucario V. All right. I'm being rewarded with this set. Three packs, two hollows, and one V. Look at how the light goes over the card, but stays behind the text. Look at that. Ah, all right. I guess uh, Elite Trainer Boxes have 10 packs. We've still got seven to go. It's actually uh, not too bad. All right, let's see what we get from this one. Flip it around like so. Get rid of that. One, two, three to the front, getting rid of the fighting slash ground. We've got Absol. We've got Beyblade. We've got Kabu again. Swablu, Ekans draping over the branch, Machop, Nicket, Galarian, Lanoon. Then we have a B drill. Jesus Christ, look at the fucking size of that abdomen. That, is that just perspective or is that, again, like the pregnant Butterfree? Is that the counterpart? The, pre the pre pregnant B drill. Uh, and then on the very end, Scrafty, holographic. I'm calling it. They're guaranteed. They have to be. The hollows. It has to be a holographic or better for this set. It must be. Pull your fucking pants up! Another one. Alright, what's the best way to give the code? Because I don't like giving the code cards away without, um, I guess just putting my thumb there is fine. I kind of like uh, doing it like this so no one can scan the QR code. People have to type them in manually, which gives more people a, a better shot at dispersing the codes amongst the community. Oh! Weedle! 
Plasticine Weedle! I love the little models, as you know. I like that. That's very cute. I don't remember seeing that in a Japanese set either. Trubbish. Cool art. Not bad. Uh, Sizzlipede. He's maybe in the opposite tree as the Ekans. Also draping over disgustingly. And then on the very end, yep, they have to be guaranteed. Another holographic. Like and rock. More like like and subscribe. <laughs> Alright, what other useless junk do we have in here? Pokemon uh, trading card game rules. Yep. And then we have some sleeves. We'll take a look at those. Ooh, we got actually got something else. Oh, wait! What is this? Wait! Dude! I did not... I didn't even know that came as a promo. Maybe this is why these boxes and their resale values have just gone through the roof. At least locally, I have not been able to get these for their proper retail price. They're, they're being sold at like ridiculous resale just because the supply and demand obviously and uh, people are buying them out the ass. And this is probably one of the reasons. I did not even know that. There you go, Charizard promo, crazy. I think usually I would keep him in the seal, but it just makes it so much harder to store. So there he is, and here he is in hard plastic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we also have the energies, just a bunch of energy. <laughs> you don't need to see that. And here is a very special code card to get the full elite trainer box, I guess, or 10 packs or whatever in the online game. But I have um, covered the last two. Digits. I think in previous videos I've covered more than that and people pointed out that that just made it, it almost impossible to guess what the remaining ones are. Um, but I'm sure someone will be able to eventually get the last two. So there you go. Trubbish, Galarian Zigzagoon, Inkay, Pokeball, Purloin, Victini. Can we get something good? What do we get on the last pack? Oh, oh boy! I'm hopping with joy! Even though I'd love to smash this character's head in with a brick, I'll still welcome him to my team. Good work, Hop! You've joined my squad. What an honor for you. And here he is. In the plastic. Sorry, I know it's not necessary to show me putting them into the cases, but it's became, whoops, um, an unlikely fan favorite. Putting the sound effect to the tapping on the desk, I feel like I'm obligated to do it every time I put a card in one. Full Heal, Potion, Volpix, Rockruff. Then we've got a Scrafty as a reverse form. It's really hard to tell that that's a reverse, but better than not being able to read the fucking thing. And on the very end, Professor's Research, this card in Japanese had some decent value, so maybe it will here if it's playable as well. It's a classic discard your hand and draw seven cards. Okay, another pack. What do you guys think of my posting schedule, huh? You impressed? There's this, uh, go down like that, take that off, one, two, three, to the front. F fuck that off! Flip it around, pregnant bee drill. Then we have Sonya. Then we've got Hatram, Swablu, Kairofaku, fuck, Weedle, and, uh, Inkay into Weedle again, reverse. Love this little fella. And then on the very end, another Professor's Research. I don't, I don't even know if it's good. But I am enjoying seeing the Endless Hollows. Damn, only two packs to go. I guess it's time to check what else is in here. We have uh, Charizard sleeves. There you go. Probably 60 in there to put on your deck. Just your deck, please. No funny business. Then we have Charizard dividers. The status counters made in China. And then the last two packs. And then uh, stick around. Obviously, we're going to be doing the Burning Shadows. And uh, reluctantly, the postcards, which I'm growing to hate as I keep getting the New Year's ones. One, two, three to the front! Getting rid of the steel energy! Turfield Stadium! Pokemon Center Lady! <gasps> Sharpedo! Ekin, Scraggy, Full Heel, Rock Ruff, Glarian, Zigzagoon, we've got a Sony Reverse, and the very end, this time, folks, Marnie! Okay, girl! Girl power! I said that in my anime card video, and there was many comments. Pointing out that they were both males. Um, there is code. Pull it down. Sneak it off screen. One, two, three. To the front. This time getting rid of steel again. Machoke. Scary. Very scary, that man. Uh, Hop. Glarian. Lanoon. We have a Pokeball. We've got a Scraggy in triplets. Sizzlipede. Sonya again. Into... Okay. Okay. 
Galarian Cursola! Holy hell! Nice! Right, well, two V cards. This one is uh, a full art version. Also, is it just me or is the centering really bad on this? See on this left side how that border is much thicker than this? I don't think that's a, a design choice because if we flip it around, we should have the same thing on the back. Yeah, thick. Thin, here is another card where the centering's fine. Basically what this means is if you send this in to get graded by PSA or Beckett, you cannot get a perfect 10 because not only is it all card quality, it's uh, centering which is out of your control. Okay, now it's time for the Burning Shadows pack. There's a, an upside down code for someone. Here is a pack. Mars Shadow on the front. What will we get from this pack? I think Mars Shadow was uh, what we got most recently, one, two, three to the front, getting rid of the water. We've got a Surviper. We've got the Fat Child. Pampor, Marzia Pie. We've got a Lolan Ratata. A Lolan Volpix Reverse Very End. Mudhorf. <laughs> and now, guys, of course, it's time for Max Mofo's Postcard Collection. It's the segment where we open up postcards. I'm pulling them from a random bundle. These are the latest two that we've got. This one's kind of cool. In general, they're pretty awful. All right, where is the pack? Here it is. Let's see what we're gonna get. Take one just off the back there. We have the ugly cricket down there. All right, 2002. We're sort of uh, working our way up here slowly. Flip it around. There it is. Ooh. Okay, what the fuck is Meowth doing? Deep throating Cricketune's shit? Seriously, what what is that? I think that's like one of those rice things. I don't think it really has a purpose. It's not celebrating anything, but there you go. Another day, another Pokemon postcard. What do you think of that one, boys? Huh? You having fun? Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you would like to support me by buying any of the merch, you can do that by clicking the link at the top of the description below, or you can go to max.shirts with a z.cool. If you buy anything else from that website that is not my merch, make sure you use code MOFO to save 10%. I will see you guys next time. If you would like to go down the rabbit hole of this channel, you can click in the middle here to check out another video. Bye!